Oh, I'm so keen for this. I'm just, I'm so keen for this. So the plan is, play through this game, play through Crash 2, and play through Crash 3. Because I've got an itch that needs to be scratched. I need to play this, I need to play these games again. Because they're just so good. They're like the best games ever. I'm definitely not going for a hundred percent though, because that's just too much. And to be quite honest, I've done that enough times already, so I can't really be asked. Especially with this game, because this game is ball bustingly difficult. I mean I usually like getting my balls busted, but not really up for it this time. Ah! Oh, got the gem on first go anyway. Maybe I will go for 100%. Maybe I can do this. Uh, which, 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 which save slot should we use? I'm feeling... We've, we've got one for Spyro. We've already got one for Crash. Let's, let's go for number 12. I'm feeling number 12. Jungle Rollers. I don't know what that was. See, the thing is, because of my setup, I can't actually hear any of the audio. So it's kind of weird to be exploring these lush environments with absolutely no sound whatsoever. It's, it's like watching someone talk, but not hearing anything come out of their mouth. It's, which is kind of a weird analogy, but, but you get what I mean, right? You know there should be sound, but there is no sound. And you guys can hear the sound, but I can't. I don't know, it's just weird. I'm, I don't even know why I'm talking about it. And there she is, we rescued Torna, we finished the game. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Just kidding. Could you imagine if it was that easy though? Cause she is standing right there, like the whole reason we're going through all this is to rescue Torna, right? You go through that bonus room and she's there, You've done it, you know. You've you've fulfilled. You've you've literally beaten the whole point of the game. Fucking, <laughs> that was absolute dog shit. See, the thing is with how I'm playing this, it's a really bizarre. This is a PlayStation game, but I'm playing it on an emulator, so it's I'm playing it on PC and I'm using an Xbox controller. This is not. Like, my muscle memory does not cooperate with this easily. I'd like to make it clear that I haven't even taken any damage yet. So anyone who complains about this game being hard, you're actually just bad. I have a very vivid memory of this level um, as a kid. I remember playing it and being, at the time, constipated. Um, which was never, ne it's never a good experience, it's never, it's never fun being constipated. Um, but I remember this level actually helped me out a lot with that. Because it scared the absolute shit out of me. And it cured my constipation. So, you know, props to this level for being so helpful. It was a terrible joke. Oh my god, I died! <laughs> That's what I get for making such a stupid joke. Oh, are you joking? Come on, what was that? We can't be making such stupid mistakes this early on. This is a hard game. This is, this is not a good sign. If I'm fucking up like this, in the early levels of the game, oh my god. It does not bode well for the more difficult half of this game. What am I doing? What was that? I don't even know what I was trying to do there. Crash was just doing some fucking ballet while waiting for the leaf to come back. Oh, come on. I really shouldn't be using the thumbstick. I, sh I should remap the controls to the D-pad. But because I'm stubborn, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick with it. I made a bad choice, and I have to live with the consequences. 
Now this, this is where the game really picks up in difficulty, because this is one of the most... Um <laughs> I actually got hit by him. Oh, that's embarrassing. I was just about to make fun of how pathetic this boss is. And I just, I just ran into him and got hit. That is that is embarrassing. Jesus Christ. This is this is gonna be a rough playthrough. That that's a bad omen if I've ever seen one. Jesus Christ. I like this level's name, Rolling Stones. I think that's pretty funny. But it also sort of makes me think, you know, why are there rolling stones? Well, first of all, are these even stones? Do these qualify as stones? They sort of look more like discs. See, they're st they're CDs. They're CDs made of body rock. So that's 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 kind of cool. And also, why there's so many? What what purpose do they serve? And finally, why are the rolling stones called the rolling stones? I'm sure there's a reason for it. I don't know anything about the Rolling Stones, other than the fact that they're a band, and also a magazine, I think. See, this, this is what happens when I try and reference sort of popular culture and things that people know. Because I don't know anything. So it just comes out as inane ramblings. Is inane even a word? I think I just made that up. I'm just going to stop talking for about five minutes so I can just gather my thoughts and hopefully come up with a way of making this commentary decent. I'm not ho I'm not hopeful, though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. You can fall outwards in the bonus levels? What the fuck? I'm... Uh... I'm going to have to swap to the D-pad at some point. I can't be having that throughout this whole game. Do you reckon this counts as animal abuse? Like, what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the legal situation here? Is this allowed? I mean, I guess in sort of the natural world, in wildlife, I don't really see how they would prevent this from happening. You know, the, um, the animal government, because that's definitely a thing. Well, no, it's a monarchy, right? Because you got the king of the jungle. So maybe, maybe they do have laws against bandicoots riding hogs. But is this animal abuse? Like, if you had a fairly... Oh, fuck. If you had a fairly decent-sized dog and a, a child attempted to ride it like a horse... Is that allowed? Is that animal abuse? What, like, what's the situation there? Just, just asking for a friend. I don't have any intention to ride animals. None that I'm willing to share anyway. I wonder if Peter had anything to say about this. Not Peter as in someone I know. Peter as in, like, the animal welfare organization. But they're kind of fucked up in some backwards ass way. I don't know. I'm sure they'd have something to say about this. This level, Native Fortress. I remember this level gave me absolute hell as a child. I found it so difficult. And I think a lot of people did because it's not, you know, it's not beginner friendly. I mean, I'm kind of breezing through it now. But that's because I'm... <sighs> it's because I've been playing this game for like... 15 years. <sighs> oh my god! No, this, this is not why I found this level difficult as a kid. I think I managed to sort of stand still at the edge of platforms. I didn't think that was a problem. But now it is, apparently. This, this is the part that I struggled with as a kid. I know I, I died like 30 times on the way here, but this part here is where I struggled. And you know the most insulting part about that is you can just jump behind this fence and skip all of it. Look at it. Look at all of those 
deadly traps, those dastardly platforming challenges, you can just walk around them like this. Like, what the fuck? Also, why am I stuck? Oh, you know what? I'm not happy with that. No. I did not put up with all that torture as a kid to just chicken out as an adult. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go through that gauntlet. I'm gonna do it successfully, and I'm not even gonna die a single time. Mark my fucking words. Oh, no! <laughs> Almost died immediately. Oh, are you serious? What is with the momentum in this? Fuck that shit. <laughs> if only I had some more momentum, maybe I would have made that jump. Fuck me. See? Why did I struggle with that so much as a kid? I'll never understand. No, oh, I do understand. It's not. It wasn't easy. It's only because I've done it, like, 50 times. I, I don't know what that noise was. Uh, I was actually just imitating the monkey. But what was that? How was that? What, what even happened there? Oh my god. Here, this is where everything's just going to fall apart. In Up the Creek? Are you serious? This level's supposed to be easy. I'm dying in Up the Creek. Outrageous. Jesus Christ. See what I mean about that momentum? Why did he keep going? I stopped pressing forward, and now he's fucking Jesus Christ walking on the water. Like, what is even happening? This game sucks. It doesn't suck. It is the worst in the trilogy, but it doesn't suck. It's just a bit jank sometimes. Fucking... Yeah, that was jank too. That wasn't my fault. That's because the game is bad. <laughs> That's a ripper -roo. Love ripper -roo. Do you know, I was once scratched by a dead kangaroo. That's a fun story. Um, so I was at... I, I think it was like a school camp. Um, we went somewhere for... Like a, a weekend. Um, and I, tr it was, we were going on a night walk, and I, I tripped over something. I thought it, it might have been like a log or, I don't know, something like that. But it was the, it was the, fucking hell. It was the corpse of a kangaroo. It was like the decomposing corpse of a kangaroo. And, like, it was, I caught my arm on, like, it was like a splintered piece of bone. And I was like, oh, fucking hell, I just scratched myself on a dead kangaroo. And, you know, the, the person who was next to me sort of tried to help me up. Um, you know, because it was dark, we couldn't really see what was going on. So they were like, oh, what, what the hell happened? I was like, oh, I, must have, I tripped over something. It must be a, it must, it must be a dead kangaroo. Because, you know, that's what happens to everyone all the time. Um, but I, as they were helping me up, the um, person dropped something. I don't know what it was, but they dropped something like, into the open corpse of this kangaroo. And so they were sort of sort of digging around in it to try and find it. Whatever it was. I can't remember what it was. It must have been, like, I don't know, one of those mini torches or something. I can't quite remember. But obviously that's quite a stressful experience, you know, digging through a fresh kangaroo corpse. So I, I tried to, you know, I tried to calm him down, sort of spoke to him, you know, like, saying things like, I don't know, you know, weren't you wearing a watch a minute ago? You know, something like to try and change the subject. But yeah, it was quite distressing. And uh, I guess that's how Ripperoo ended up as well. Just a, a, a decomposing corpse of a kangaroo. That was quite a grim way to commentate that boss fight and also to end this video. And I didn't even tell the story very well. <laughs> sort of stumbling all over myself. Anyway, I reckon that'll do it for now. We'll come back to this and explore the lost city next time.